What's up, guys? This is Wes, a.k.a. Dougie, my Snuggie. I'm going to bring you something different today. I had a lot of people asking me for tips on... I guess they're asking for tips on how to hit. Um, I think that's... Well, that's what I'm going to start with in this. I might do a little tip series on different aspects of the game. Maybe it'll help you out. I Before I get started, I want to preface this by saying I am not the best player in this game. I'm probably maybe better than average at best. Uh, but uh, I want to do a little video today to show you... See if I can help you out with some hitting a little bit. And now the first thing I want to show you is the settings that I use. Now these are not the best, these, I'm not saying this is the only settings that will work for you, but uh, this, most of the better players you see will be using pretty much these same type of settings. So let's go in here and take a look at our gameplay options. Um, the hitting difficulty doesn't really matter in Diamond Dynasty. Now if you're playing uh, Road to the Show or uh, a franchise, uh, you can adjust this hitting difficulty. Uh, I suggest you, rookie's a little bit too easy. I would suggest you start down on veteran and then kind of work your way up. I have mine set to Hall of Fame. Legend's just a little bit too high for me. Um, but my here's the here's the main thing: the hitting interface. You definitely want to go with zone. Um, you can use directional, but basically you're just center swinging the whole time, and a skilled opponent is going to be able to find out that you're using directional. And they're just going to tear you up. You're not going to be able to connect with any. I mean, you'll be able to hit pitches. But you're not going to hit a lot of balls solid. So definitely, I would go with zone. Stick stick with that. Input type. You want to use buttons. Um, analog. I mean, it's up to you. But I just use buttons. That way, you just hit the X button or the square button. The X button gives you a normal swing. Square button's power swing. Uh, circle button, which I never use, is contact swing. And then you got the triangle for the bunt. Uh, analog type it doesn't really matter if you're using the uh, the buttons I, I just leave mine on flick I think that's the uh, that is the uh, default plate coverage indicator now this is important here uh, most people have their set to on that's the little reticle that you move around the screen with your right analog stick on your controller now some of the better players uh, I do see that they have it turned off now you still got the little reticle that moves around but you don't see it and I think they like that just because it uh, it's less clutter on the screen. It's just a personal thing. I've tried turning mine off, and I played about 10 or 12 games with it. I find that I popped a lot of pitches up or uh, hit a lot of balls in the dirt when I, when I had it off. I kind of overcompensated. I really suggest when you're starting out, just leave it on, and then um, once you get used to that, you can turn it off. See which one you prefer. Uh, next thing would be PCI preference or PCI appearance. Um, now this is just straight who whatever kind whatever you want to do. Um, now I use the wedge one that gives you like the smallest plate coverage indicator. I know a lot of people use just the reticle kind, and some people use outline. Um, buckshot I think is horrible, but some people do use it. Um, but for the most part, you're gonna see most people using reticle, wedge, and outline. It's just a per personal preference there. You can play around with with all of them, see which one you like. Now here's the big one, the hitting view. When I first started out, and you can look at my old videos, uh, I started out with this fisheye camera. This is the default camera when you first get the game. It's a really good camera, but the problem I was having was the high inside fastball. I could not get on top of that ball, uh, and I was pretty much getting eat up with it. And when I did make contact, I was just getting jammed. And then eventually I moved to zoom, which zooms you in a little bit more, but not all the way. Uh, you can still see part of your batter. Uh, everything just a little bit closer to you as far as when you're standing at the plate. Uh, it gives you a little bit bigger, a little bit of a bigger target to aim at. But I still had some problems with it, so I just went all out. Now I don't know what these retro and offsets and all that are, but this is the one I use. I use strike zone. You really don't see your batter, so if he has a crazy funky uh, stance or something like that, it really doesn't bother you. The only one that does give me troubles is uh, what's the guy's name? Shoot, Brett Lowry. <laughs> he kind of flips his bat where it comes into the camera view like it strikes in and it irritates the crap out of me. But other than that guy, uh, you really don't see most of your batter. He's kind of off the screen. You're just zoomed in right on the strike zone. That's all you got to focus on. So you got your, your reticle, your PCI. Put that on the ball, swing the bat. Um, in play view offense, this is a matter of preference. Um, I'm using broadcast right now. The only thing, the only problem with broadcast, I really like it. Because I can tell where the ball is going to go out of the yard most of the time. The only problem I have with it is in Diamond Dynasty, sometimes it kind of flakes out and you get like this blue screen. 
for just like a split second and then it just doesn't like catch up to the ball very quick um a lot of people use dynamic some people use medium high um i use broadcast all right so there are the settings that i use let's jump in and let me show you how to practice we don't need to fucking practice randy y'all just a bunch of losers Okay, now this is the best best method I can think of for you to practice. Let's go into the mini modes off your main menu. And you want to go into batting practice. I know it sounds horrible. It doesn't sound very fun. Uh, and then you can just pick any batter. Who do we want to play with today? Let's just go ahead and go with Mike Trout. All right, we can pick a pitcher. I suggest when you're first starting out, use somebody that's not that great. Um, we'll go with Tony Singrani here. Then you can pick any field that you want. And now we're entering practice mode. We're doing good at bat training. All right, so basically what they're wanting you to do is just take good swings. Don't swing at bad pitches. And that's the biggest thing in this game is to learn the difference between a ball and a strike coming out of the pitcher's hand. So when you first get in here, I suggest just taking a pitch or two. Just get a feel of what the batter is going to do. And here comes a pitch. It's a strike down the middle. So we're 0-1. Now what I do when I have this PCI moving is I kind of put it where the pitcher's hand comes out. And I, I try to follow the ball out of his hand and swing accordingly. Now I pop that up. Poor bat, minus 115 points. Good way to start out. But look at the PCI down in the bottom left. I put that bat right on the ball with good timing. So that's what we're worried about. I kind of do it. It's kind of instinct for me at this point. Like that right there, just out of the pitcher's hand. I knew exactly it was going to be a ball. That's just going to take a lot of practice, and I, I suggest spending hours. Anytime you're not playing in a game, just sit there and watch the pitches. See if you can tell which one's going to be a ball, which one's going to be a strike. And just because it's a strike doesn't mean you have to swing. But you're looking for a fastball, kind of middle middle of the plate, something like that, until you get two strikes, and then you got to kind of protect. All right, so basically, is don't worry about the score in this. What you're wanting to do is just learn the difference between balls and strikes, Kind of take some pitches, and then eventually, once you start going, you just want to make sure you're swinging at only strikes, not chasing balls out of the zone. And uh, eventually, it's going to turn into you're going to be a better batter. It's just practice, 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 and this is the best mode to do it in. Um, I'm going to show you another mode that's a little bit more fun if you get a little bored with this. I'll show you uh, another mode that's fun. If you notice, if, uh, I might try to slow it down for you. Um, that ball coming out of his hand, I just kind of track it with my P PCI. And again, that's just per personal preference. Some people leave the like the indicator down here low and then they come up. What I do when I do that is I end up hitting a lot of ground balls. Some people leave the PCI inside no matter who they're playing, who's pitching. And again, I find myself overcompensating. There's a home run. I don't know. Maybe I have to switch to that. He's all happy about it. There we go. See, I put that PCI right on the ball. It's a little bit late. But this is I like to follow the pitch out of the pitcher's hands. Now, one last thing before I show you this other mode that we want to try out is uh, I'm 99% of the time, I use the normal swing. I just use the X button. I know I hit a lot of home runs, but I don't power swing a whole lot. We're making this pitcher work a little bit. And even though I got it out there, that was a good at bat. I made the pitcher throw five pitches. We didn't get a gold, but I was kind of talking and playing at the same time. Plus, the difficulty is pretty high. So, we did get a silver. Not too bad. But what you want to do is just keep just keep doing that over and over. Just Repetition is the key in this game. Just play in the game. Play the game a lot. There's no secret recipe to hitting. Basically, what you want to do is just go into that batting practice and play it over and over. Try different pitchers out. Work your way up. You start out with veteran hitting. Um, rookie's a little bit too easy. You know, if you're having problems on veteran, don't worry about it. Go to the rookie. Play it out. See what you can do there. And then just eventually, once you start getting the gold consistently on that batting practice, move your, move your difficulty up. Like right there, I was doing Hall of Fame. I got silver. I probably could have got gold if I wasn't talking and trying to play at the same time. But I'm not going to make excuses. Now, also in this mini mode uh, is the challenge of the week. Now, I have no idea what the challenge of the week is this week, but you can actually win prizes and learn how to play at the same time. Now, don't worry about the leaderboard again in this one. But again, you're trying to make good at bats. The only, only thing with the challenge of the week 
is anytime you see a strike, you just want to swing at it. You don't really want to take strikes and challenge of the week because it kind of kills your momentum. You build up score as you get hits. This is a good mode to practice on because you're taking bad pitches and you're swinging at all the good pitches. Look at that. All right, first, first swing in the game. Inside fastball, we put it in the upper deck. And also in this challenge of the week, you're starting out on rookie difficulty and uh, working your way up. So as, every time you get three fair hits, it moves the difficulty up. So next we'll go to veteran, and then we'll go to all-star, and then hall of fame, and then legend. So yeah, this mode is a lot of fun. Not a lot of people use it. It's also a good mode to just kind of learn the difference between balls and strikes. And that is the number one key in this game is to learn the difference between ball and a strike. Now, that was a good curveball by him. That's one you don't see very often. And uh, again, don't worry about your don't worry about your stats too much here. It's just repetition over and over. You just want to make good swings. And my God, he's just ripping me up right now. What are we doing here? I remember trying to give you a tips video, and I can't swing. I can't hit the ball. Really? <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I'm really playing. I'm getting mad. So there we go. There's a good swing. When we find the look at that, how's that 396? But look, center green basically. So yeah, this is a good challenge of the week to be uh, practicing on because you got a decent pitcher, but not an overly tough pitcher. You got a good hitter, and it's righty on righty, which is not ideal conditions. All right, guys, there we go. So we ju we just went ahead and finished that out. Um, I hope this video helped you. Just reiterate the biggest two tips that I can give you is to learn how to tell the difference between a ball and a strike and just practice 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 the more you play this game the better you're going to be get and there's no other way around it uh, eventually just hitting the ball will become instinct uh, learning how to use that zone hitting get the reticle on the ball um, as you practice more and more you're going to learn to, to recognize the pitches coming out of the pitcher's hand whether it's going to be a fastball change up uh, curve ball slider stuff like that and you'll know how to react to it eventually you won't have to think about it you just you're just your thumb will just do it it's kind of like anything else in life i don't know if people play guitar or something like that but if you play guitar if you're sitting there thinking about changing chords it's slow at first and then eventually you just get that muscle memory built in you don't even have to think about it your fingers just do the work for you your brain is completely shut off and, and that's basically how it works in hitting in this game you just got to practice and practice until it's just pure instinct. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments what other tips that you would like to see. Um, I kind of maybe want to do a series on this. Uh, might do a BR Draft tip ser uh, video. Uh, some fielding tips, some pitching tips, things like that. Uh, if you've got anything else that you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get it out there for you. I really appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.